the writer of the Man of Steel says that the WB slash DC, for lack of a better phrase, may have, well, jumped the gun. This is the Sox Rocker Show. Hello, Sox here. Welcome back to the show. Today I want to talk about uh, the fact that David S. Goyer, the writer of the screenplays for the Dark Knight trilogy and also... The Man of Steel. Well, he's recently come on record as stating that, uh, you know, when he was working on the the Man of Steel back scenes, it was it was chaotic. You know, the executives couldn't keep their hands out of things, and well, it just it was an uncomfortable situation. You know, he even went on record as saying that like every eighteen weeks that the executives changed hands at WD so well I think the words were that they all got whiplash because they didn't know what was going on they didn't know what decisions to make I mean what it comes down to is you know Warner Brothers slash DC sort of just stood back and let Snyder and Air and everybody else involved just do what they were hired to do but no they they wanted to catch up with with you know Marvel the MCU, which wasn't going to happen because the MCU had a head start. But that wasn't good enough. It wasn't good enough at all, so they had to cram everything together. He, you know, he, he even went on record as saying that they, they should have just made a second Man of Steel movie instead of doing Batman versus Superman and putting the Trinity together so fast because, it you know, as, as great as that movie was... The whole thing could have been better had they taken their time, and we all know that. Um, unfortunately, we got what we got, and we're, we have to love those movies because I don't think there's going to be anything else. But to hear these words from somebody that was involved back then, somebody that was that deeply involved, it's disheartening at best. When you think about what we could have had, what could have been, had they just stepped back and, and, and let people do what they do best and and let it take its time you know it, we weren't going to catch up with marvel that damn fast and we all knew that but anyway also in the news with dc it seems that uh you know the on again off again romance with gal gadot and james one and done gun being and wonder woman well that's back on. I, I don't know how people know this. It, it There's no way anybody could know this. It makes good clickbait. It makes good press. Um, if it is true, great. On one side of the coin, on the other side of the coin, I think it's crap because, you know, if they're going to keep her, they should have kept Affleck and they sh should have kept Cavill, but... You know, I'm starting to think those other two didn't want anything to do with it. So, who knows. Also, you know, apparently the uh, writer strike has come to a tentative agreement. You know, tentative means maybe. You know, it's dependent upon certain things. So, that doesn't mean it's for sure. It just means that, you know, they're talking about it, and they're close. But, you know, even if they do come to an agreement, and I don't think they will, I think it's going to take a few more months, you know, there's there's still the actor strike to think about, and, you know, they all deserve more than what they're getting, and I'm not talking about actors on the on the level of, like, a Brad Pitt or a, or a George Clooney or a Tom Cruise. I'm talking about, you know, character actors that are that are in TV shows and, you know, the people that are standing on the sidewalk and in movies with a mother large-scale actors, those are the ones that they don't make any money, you know. They're making twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a year, and if they're lucky, they got benefits. So, you know, I, I hope it works out because what the studios want to do now with the advent of AI technology, it's 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 nothing short of sacrilege.
you know, to take work that somebody else has done and, and use an artificial copy, a computerized copy of that is it's it's wrong you know it's like what they did with the flash and you know they with christopher reeve and henry cavill and it, all that cgi stuff it, it was just come on it was wrong um do we really want to go that route where we're giving up the rights to these people that that do their work and you know we're going to sign over their their image I hope not. Anyway, what do y'all think? How do you feel about that? What do you what do you think about uh, Goyer's opinions about you know what could have been, what should have been, and how things were at DC at the time? And uh, <laughs> what do you think about the you know Wonder Woman back again? Off? Do you even care at this point? I mean, I don't know that I do. I'm at the point now where it's like, you know, if it happens, great. If it doesn't, I'm not going to lose sleep over it anymore because I'm taking everything that Gunn says with a grain of salt because I don't believe anything that comes out of the man's mouth anyway. Um, that's just how it's came to be with me, you know. And uh, how do you feel about the strike? Um, you think it's done? I don't know. You tell me. Also, the next show, we're going to touch base on the fact that, well, you know, there's been a crossover movie that I wasn't aware of with uh, the Scooby-Doo gang and, and Crypto and even some members of the Justice League. <laughs> yeah, anyway... <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Um, leave your comments down below. Let us know how you feel. Please hit that like button um, so we can keep this thing going. Thanks for stopping by. God bless. Have a fantastic day. Socks out.